Yesterday is February 20th, 1962. And today, if all goes well, the men here will launch an American astronaut into orbit around the world in a spacecraft which he has named Friendship 7. The pilot has waited three years for this day. Three long, arduous years of study, of training, of waiting. And now he's ready. His name is John Glenn. Astronaut John Glenn of New Concord, Ohio. Lieutenant Colonel, United States Marine Corps. Okay, uh, John. Go, buddy. Engine start. May the wee ones be with you, Thomas. Good on ride all the way. Godspeed, John Glenn. Ten, nine, eight, seven. John Glenn now belongs an awesome panorama, the world curving beneath him. I could see the booster turn around just a couple of hundred yards behind me. Beautiful. Uh, Roger, Seven, you have a go at least seven orbits. Roger, understand go for at least seven orbits. The thickening atmosphere breaks his descent, slowing Friendship 7 from 17,500 miles an hour to 1,300 miles an hour in slightly over three minutes. And the forces of gravity slam against John Glenn until he weighs eight times his normal weight. Main shoot at Ungreen, shoot us out in reef condition at 10,800 feet and beautiful shoot. Shoot looks good. On O2 emergency and the chute looks very good. Rear descent has gone to about 42 feet per second. Hello, Mercury Recovery. This is Friendship 7. Do you receive? Mercury, this is Friendship 7. This is Steelhead. Loud and clear. Over. Right here, Steelhead. Uh, Friendship 7. The chute looks very good. Over. Behind a journey of 81,000 miles through three days and three nights in just four hours and 56 minutes. At 3.04 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Friendship 7 comes to rest aboard the United States destroyer, Noah, and John Glenn returns to the people of Earth. A change of clothes, a breath of cool air, a short debriefing. Then, Glenn leaves the Noah heading for the aircraft carrier Randolph under the golden splendor of his fourth sunset of the day.